Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more Rise of Mordor for you today and this is a great 3v3 siege as we have some Bane of the Steps just riding on by the walls here outside and they are trying to uh, attack and slow down these towers here led by uh, myself who I was playing as Gondor um, so yeah this is a, a 3v3 I played with uh, Jackfish and some of the subs that we did the other day and it was a really really fun, uh, really fun siege battle and uh, yeah, so you can see these de these bending steps here are going to try and uh, destroy these uh, units at the bottom of the towers. You can see they're desperately trying to get to the towers, and I don't know really what this formation is that's forming. But here we go. I think this is going to be some sort of a slow, really slow charge. And then they're going to get kind of tangled in there. I don't think that was actually the aim of the bending steps. Um, like after the game, like the uh, Eastling player said, I didn't really want to do that. I just kind of ran in there. But we do have an Eastling army, we have a Gondor army, and we have a Elven army attacking. And defending, we also have an Eastling army. Uh, we have a, uh, a Dol Amroth army, and we also have a Dorwinian army who is being played by Jackie today. Um, so uh, yeah, so this is a um, so this is quite a close one. I mean, it's, it was just really fun to play, to be honest. And uh, yeah, always enjoy showing Rise Mordor. I know you know you guys enjoy seeing it. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support if you want to see more Rise Mordor. But we have some uh, Swan Knights now that are getting engaged with these. Uh, in the steps, we also have uh, managed. Man oh God, uh, we've also managed to uh, cap uh, capture this one. Got it in place with some Bane the steps. This is Bane the steps fighting Bane the steps. Wonder who will win. Um, and we're gonna have some. Uh, should have some more cavalry arriving. I think some Swan Knights should be on their way eventually. Oh no, that they're, they're already over there as well. We also have some more cavalry over here uh, lingering. You can see Dol Amroth already got some units. They got a bit weakened because they. Uh, I actually started on some traps. You can see here these uh, poor like cavalry just got ran out, uh, like got destroyed by their own traps. Um, we also have some of uh, Jackie's Athala Rangers here, uh, mounted rangers. These guys are quite good, quite good uh, horse archers. Yeah, these uh, mounted Tarnosians are pretty solid. We have some Knights of Imrahil, which is probably one of the best cavalry in the game, and they look really, really nice and nasty if you're on the wrong end of them. But there you go. You can see we routed this first bend in the steps. We got it pinned in with cavalry and we had infantry supporting so it's doing a, a good job in killing it. I'm now making sure that it's going to actually run properly. It also helped that they try to pull the unit out of combat and I just carried on like chopping them down as they ran away. Always helped. Uh, same on this side with infantry support and the cavalry. Able to easily route this bane in the steps. The enemy have rallied their units. You can just see there's just a load of bane in the steps units. You can't really tell who's on whose side. But there are some Ringlow Veil men at arms here. They're chopping down some of these uh, baiting steps. Apparently they can tell friend from foe. Uh, my troops have now landed on the wall, as have uh, the Eastlings over on this side. We have Loki and Macemen on this side. And uh, they will be uh, getting off the wall. They don't really have anything to face. You can see that the uh, next defense is over here. It's actually at the main cap point. We have some uh, clan guards ready. So, I mean, they could go straight in to uh, attack that, that final defense already. Clan guards looking awesome as always. Kind of like the uh, Middle Middle Earth variant of the Pavis uh, spear, in my opinion, a bit. You can see the artillery's already firing some shots. I don't know what they're possibly shooting at. Maybe the uh, the guys on the wall, perhaps. I'm not sure. Maybe they're trying to destroy the wall. Kind of might want to just hold that ammo uh, for later use. We've got a very good defense here set up, though. But yeah, Jackie and uh, I think is mainly over here. I think there might be some uh, Dol Amroth troops as well. Yeah, but yeah, it's most of the Dorwinian forces here. And some uh, and some sea war troops ready, but we are about to land. You can see Gondor is uh, already on the walls, getting off with the Gondor infantry here. This is the bread and butter, like most of the mainline infantry that Gondor has on offer. Um, I mean, yeah, it's their best sword unit by far and away. Uh, their best. I have got some better spears over here, which are like the cream of the crop for uh, like Gondor infantry. You can see these Citadel guards. So they actually get some pretty good kills. They will get good kills. They're one of the few spear units that I think if you can play right, can rack up a lot of kills. Uh, compared to, like, say, like, Gondor Normal, like, Gondor Spear Infantry or, like, uh, Penneth Gillen. These guys can rack up a lot of kills. We've got more Gondor Infantry in reserve. But, obviously, we are relying on the elves to do a lot of uh, work as well because they've got good archers. They've got good swords. They can do a lot of work if they uh, if they use correctly. See Gondor getting off the wall, so you need to be careful that you don't destroy the towers. You can lose a lot of men from doing that, so you can see I'm desperately trying to get uh, these uh, men away from the towers. I have destroyed that one and lost a few men there. And there we go, so the first bit of engagement's about to happen. I don't know why this uh, Loki Amazement unit went up, uh, to be honest, now like looking back on it, because I charge it here and uh, engage it, and then I just flank it with this unit of Ringlow Veil Men at Arms. I mean, these two Ringlow Veil Men at Arms might not be enough to stop this Loki Rem unit. 
But it did seem really bizarre when seeing it. You can see looking into the rear, this is what's gonna happen. You get charged in the back. And this unit's now kind of surrounded. It's stuck here for the uh, for the battle. Really? I, yeah, I'm, they might have the ability to take out both these units. But it did seem a bit strange to just come out of formation. Uh, like they had the next layer ready and set. They could have defended this area here, like they were doing. Um, but apparently not. They'd rather go over here and attack and uh, get involved and get some kills on some Gondor scum. But yeah, if you want to get involved in some Rise of Mordor battles with myself and some other members of the Discord, then uh, join the Discord as well down below. Um, is the in the description of this video and. Uh, Always wanting more people to come and join our games. Always appreciate having uh, new players. It's always great to see uh, people that are a fan of this mod. It's such a great mod and I always want to play with uh, as many people as possible. We've got some shipment here. These are uh, Darwinian troops. They're held, uh, they've got like jabbies. I don't think they use their jabbies, but they ha do have jabbies. And I love their armor. They've, this also is a unit that's shared by uh, Dale. Dale and Darwinian are very similar uh, armies. They're from like obviously the same part of the world, so it kind of makes sense. You can see that we've got some Sea Ward infantry in here now as well, supporting against these uh, Gondorian troops. So the Gondorian troops are out, actually outnumbered. And they look so similar, don't they? Look at this, there's like a Sea Ward troop here fighting against a Gondorian. There's like only a little bit of difference. They have like different helmets and slightly different armor and obviously a different shield. But yeah, they are, well, Dol Amroth is a, is a uh, vassal, a principality of Gondor. A thief, if you may say so. It is in the Thieves of Gondor mod. They have their, or they have another ver a version of uh, it there. This elven unit here needs to get really pushing up because it's getting shot on the side here by, um, well, just by all these archers here. We've got some Tarnosian marksmen. There are elves on the uh, Darwinian side, I'm pretty sure. These uh, Avari marksmen are like, I'm pretty sure are like an elven unit. I'm pretty sure. Or they are like close, close to base to elves. I think they are. The Avari are like an elven uh race or something like that that's uh, with Darwinian and if they stop moving I will get a close-up of them really quickly but uh here we go you're gonna stop here apparently not apparently uh Jackie's moving them around a lot but there you go yeah there you go you can see that they have quite elven armor they've uh, they kind of got like a bit of an Athelian, vi Athelian ranger vibe to them as well like that bandana over the face uh, over the face over the mouth it's not really a bandana either it's just like a I don't know covering the face you can see, yep, yeah, still battle rages on down here. We're starting to set up uh, archers on the wall. We've got Lords of Las Galen up here. Really good archers. These archers are uh, the best available to the Wooden Realm, who probably have the best archers in the game at this point. So this is the best of the best. So these guys, you expect to get a lot of kills, and they're going to be able to focus down anything over here, just archers, uh, pikes, swords if they want to, whatever they fancy. And while this has been going on, you can see that uh, we have the Eastlings now inside. They have the Bane Steps here. They're charging units like shipmen. And all sorts. We're going to see like a bane in the steps here. It's going to go in and it's going to try and destroy units if given a chance. We're going to go for a door winning protector by the looks of it. And this will be a painful charge. Let's get the point of view of this door winning protector. This is a good unit as well. Very expensive shock infantry for door winning. Oh! That's painful. I think they brace, but it's still going to hurt. There's still a lot of men in there that's going to get killed. How many of them died? Yeah, they lost a good 20 or so. It was pretty painful. Killed a fair amount of the pain in the steps. It's not a shock infantry cav, a uh, shock cav unit, so it's better in prolonged melee. So, like, charging like that's okay, but it's it's not actually its main its main thing to do. I think they're going to come back around for round two, aren't they? Pain in the steps is going to try round two, but there is cavalry coming, Knights of Imrahil. Uh, this is a pretty weak in June. I don't think they'll be able to stop this Knights of Imrahil. And this is fine. I mean, they are engaging this unit. They're doing that, allowing us to flank around here. You can see we're now flanking around. We're going to take out this uh, Sea Ward's infantry. The idea with the cavalry was just to pin down their cavalry. Uh, it's what we wanted to do. So that you can see here this bait in the steps. We were getting it out of combat as soon as we saw the shipmen, like, like this other unit over here. I was like, get them out of combat with the shipmen. You need to go in and take out this cavalry or hold it in place. So, uh, yeah, the main reason is just to do that. They don't need to actually go in and take out... Um, like infantry, we just need to hold the Dolan Roth cavalry in place. Allow our infantry to go around, flank stuff. Like over here, it still needs to be able to do a lot of damage, and it is doing just that. Oh, 
poor guy just getting speared there. Being speared by possibly a brother in arms. They are basically brother in arms, Gondor and Dol Amroth. So weird to see them against each other, but here they are. Over on this side, you've got a. Uh, this unit here is losing. I mean, actually, so is the uh, shipment as well. They're not all winning it either. Probably because of the archer fire you can see up here. We now have a lot of archers on the wall. We have Gondorian archers. We have, yeah, just a lot of Gondorian archers. A lot of uh, elven archers as well. The elves are now engaged as well on their side. So I've seen a bit of the elven action. They're fighting off against the uh, Dol Amroth troops. They're having a lot more joy against Dol Amroth. Elven troops are just better. They will just... I mean, they've also got support from the archers. So they're probably doing quite nicely there. In that aspect. And we still got troops all the way around here. Look at this. You can see that's the C1 infantry unit. This uh, unit could probably do with being a bit active. It could go either round and uh, do some damage here. Like the last Gallon Blades if we wanted to. Uh, but I think they are going to be met with a, a force in a moment. It's going to be... Uh, they, they might need to turn in a moment just to face this uh, last Gallon Blade. Which they won't be able to hold back. Spears do not hold back swords. And especially won't hold back the Elven swords. You see here we now have uh, this Loki Rim Maceman. Being very smart here is now protecting... This fight that's going on here, it's also protecting itself, it's facing the right way. It's going to allow the second unit here to go and flank in and do the uh, damage now. This unit is now uh, going to go in and probably be aggressive on like the shipman, whatever it needs to be. But yeah, they are winning the carry fight here, are uh, the uh, uh, Dol Amroth troops. That was to be expected. At this point, the uh, the troops or the cavalry of, uh, of uh, the Eastlings have been pretty beaten up. It's been fighting, it's been fighting the other Eastling -like forces, it's also been fighting infantry. So at this point, it's taking casualties. I mean, so is the Dol Amroth cap, but it's Dol, Ma Dol Amroth's cap is also just far superior. Now see that the Gondorian cavalry is inside. We have uh, Knights of the Silver Swan here. They're going to do their bit. Very elite cavalry. They're seeing a little bit of action, but not too much. Uh, over the, like over back here, the uh, uh, horse archers are still causing a bit of an issue. Just uh, not doing like much in getting kills, but just like being there, just being an issue is just a problem. I'm now actually using my artillery. I have an artillery piece that I'm just going to use to just point blank fire this uh, at this like wall here. I'm just destroying to allow it to get breached through because it's taking too long for our men to get in just through the walls. Also, I want to be able to use this artillery later. So I'm actually just using up ammo just to make a hole even though I could just go all the way around there. But I don't want to risk uh, obviously the rangers. So I'm keeping it very safe by just making a hole here. I'm just going to go through this way. Uh, you can see artillery going off now from uh, Dorwinian, I believe this is. Uh, Dorwinian's got an artillery piece all the way back here as well. Firing flamey uh, balls of justice. And it is going for... It looks going for the Loki Rim. Not a bad target. You see we now have a Knights of the Silver Swan coming up. It's an absolute mess and a maze to get your cavalry through here when you get into... like When you get inside, it's a bit of a maze. This is the most open area um, for the cavalry at the moment. But yeah, I see a, uh, a bit of a gap. I'm going to try and sneak through. Oh, God. Uh, you can see I'm going to try and sneak through this gap here. And go, you can get through this archway. And I'm going to try and go up here and just try and get some kills on, uh, like, a Vari Marksman. And on, uh, well, this carries and they finish this. Uh, Vin Vine Farmer Militia. It's just farmers. Look at these guys. Literally got, like, scythes. Just been called up from the fields. And they've been told, you must fight. And they've got to face, like, some of the best cavalry in the game, possibly. Uh, but here they go. We're going to charge down these Avari Marksmen. Getting a charge off on them. But uh, Jackie's seen it with it, and he's going to send in his general, his uh, Dorwinian protectors being sent in. They're actually taking a lot of damage from uh, that charge. He lost about 20 men in that charge alone. And yeah, I'm going to try and just pull through, knock these guys down, and carry chasing on. I'm going to go after uh, catapults and uh, thorn archers and all sorts. Yeah, we are well and truly stuck in here now. We're well and truly stuck in combat. And this pole arm's ready. Yeah. They were really well, like, I basically went around here, I was like, oh, this will be fine, we'll be able to catch them out. And then all of a sudden just opened up a hornet's nest, and look at that, the Knights of the Silver Swan is just decimated. But we did a bit of damage. Uh, I wouldn't say masses, but we did some damage. Yeah, you can see the Vari Marksmen now also loosing up some volleys. They're going to kill some of their kin, possibly. Very nice. Another volley. Look how quickly they fire. Got a floating bow here. 
Nope, they, they're done. That's apparently, that's apparently enough. One volley was all they were going to do. We can now see that we are now engaging here. This infantry unit just needs to flank round. This unit here, Loki Amazement, it's not engaged. Just needs to flank round. It kills the shipment so much quicker. Or it just pushes onto the next uh, tier of defense makes uh, and tries to cut off Dorwinian's retreat. Because Dorwinian has so much uh, like left here just ready. Um, this unit here, Loki has been held up by the uh, pole arms. And now the pole arms are going to go up. They're going to get forced up. So, I mean, the Loki need to fall back, really. They need to go back now. Look at these guys. They're just charging in with their, pi uh, with their pikes. They don't even care. Don't think you'll ever see a pike charge like that ever again. But yeah, they need to fall back. Uh, because this is not a fight they can win. They need to get archers up. Or they can hold these guys in place and get archers. That's the other thing they can do. If you can get archers up here, you can focus these guys down. Very nice, easy kill. Vinland, killing these Vinland Watchmen. But there you go. They're falling back. And uh, they're actually going to chase them. They're going to try and chase them. But they're, uh, I mean, they're going to succeed. Look at this guy. Oh, he's got stabbed with a pike through the chest. That's very impressive. But yeah, we've now got the wall is now down. And we can now get the rest of our troops in. It's quite easy and doable. You can see we've got Hall Guardians over here now engaged. Do love to see a few Hall Guardians in combat. Look at these guys. Looking glorious. One of my favourite shock infantry in the game, Hall Guardians. Don't know why, just are. I, re I guess because I've just had uh, some really good games with them, probably. I do like playing as the Hall Guardians. Wooden Realm is just a really good factor for them. You can see Gondor here. Making an appearance, going to send in some infantry, try and help this fight. These Haven Guard are nasty. They're also a really good shock infantry unit. Another one of my favourites to use. Haven Guard against uh, Hall Guardians could go either way, really. Both very strong shock infantry. You see a lot of them starting to drop down, though, these... Uh, Haven Guard are wavering at 51 men. That's actually quite high for them to waver, I'd say. They usually go to at least 30s, high 20s. At this point, you can see that we're starting to burn uh, the artillery pieces. We're trying to get these, uh, set them alight. Uh, we're using like fire arrows just to do that. Uh, at this point, I think it's just scaring off the uh, catapult crew. We're not really doing much else. Uh, but they're keeping stuff in place. They are starting to make a, a full retreat here. I mean, it's looking a bit dodgy in their balance power right now. They have a lot less men. And uh, we still have a lot of elves and stuff to bring up. These Avari marksmen looking awesome when they're setting off their volleys. And look at the, all of these guys. They look amazing. A lot of money gone into these archers. Um, you can obviously tell. Very, very elite. We've got some... Uh, what have we got here? We've got some uh, Belfast fleet warriors that are going to get sent in. More cavalry here. Appearing. I was trying to do the same thing again. I was uh, going to try and be sneaky. I tried to take out this one shock infantry unit. Uh, and then all of a sudden so much more appeared. Um, but there you go. That was a risk not really worth taking. I've not really had a great game with my cavalry. Uh, I kind of, yeah, most of it gets just absolutely swamped there. It's down to 35 minutes. I'm going to loop it round, and I'm going to go after this uh, Warlords of Rune here, which is uh, putting up some stiff defense against some uh, Loki Rune Macements. We've got Eastlings versus Eastlings here. Eastlings Civil War. So not only do we have, like, Gondor portraying Dolanroth or Dolanroth portraying Gondor, we have an Eastlings Civil War. And here we go. We can see the... Uh, Wards Rune are going to get charged by this cavalry. Bang, there we go. I mean, it's a small portion of the infantry. Oh, God, like archer fire coming in, hitting friend and foe. And there you go, that's the next wave of the cavalry. And yeah, that uh, Wall of Rune, it was like a fresh unit, down to 67. That was a pretty good charge. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like a... It wasn't a really great use of the cavalry, to be honest. I didn't really like... Once I got the cavalry inside, I didn't really have much use for it. The cavalry like was just to deter any... Uh, cavalry, which I knew they'd bring as Dol Amroth and uh, Eastlings. It was obvious they were going to bring cavalry to Sally. Very strong factions to, uh, for cavalry. So Sally was inevitable. Luckily, the Athala Rangers still haven't been able to do anything. I'm so glad. There's like horse archers uh, just couldn't do anything or can't do anything at the moment. And now that everything's inside, they're just kind of stood out there, just kind of waiting for an opportunity. They could possibly uh, could rush the uh, artillery piece, but it's moving off now. But it's still well protected. And there you go. Shock infantry breaking. What's that? That's vine farm of militia breaking. That's fine. And uh, now these Loki need to finish off these uh, walls of rune. The shipmen. I mean, well under this shipmen unit. It's holding like a long time. The shipmen are not uh, like. They're not great. <laughs> Let's put it like that. They are not great. And they're actually. I say that. Okay, of course. As soon as I say that. It's commentator's curse. Uh, as soon as I say that, the shipmen break. But um, yeah, they, they are not great. I wouldn't say these. Uh, 
I'm assuming they don't cost a lot. You better bring in, um, like, certainly if you're Dale, you better bring in, like, the Dalian swords. What we've got here, we've got Dorian and Thorn Archers uh, wavering. This is, these guys have sacrificed, they were in combat to sacrifice to get this uh, catapult back, which is down to two uh, artillery pieces. It's been shot at a lot. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the people, a lot of the uh, artillery pieces set alight. They've got another one here, though. This is an Eastling one, which we've already seen. Use a bit of its ammo. I don't know what it's firing at now. What is it firing? Oh, it's shooting a, this uh, big blob of uh, shock infantry here. Oh, that's a good hit. Got a couple of kills there. And they're getting shot by arrows. And uh, yeah, these guys are got to get to cover, really. Because they're very expensive units. You don't want to just throw them away. There you go. They're sort of in cover now. And now the final assault really on this uh, this point here begins, you can, can see. Uh, we've got some Vinland uh, watchmen holding the line. Uh, but little do they know, I'm falling back troops here, little do they know that you can flank around quite easily. This is a very flankable position. And you can see there's a Gondor sword infantry doing just that, forming column. They've been ordered to form column and go forward. And you can see the nice little jewel going on here, look at this. Vinland watchmen versus Loki Rim. And uh, Vin the Watchmen are going to try and retreat because they see exactly what's going to happen. These Gondor, uh, Gondor swords are trying to uh, undo that and they're wavering now. And uh, the next line of defense is being set up already. Uh, we've got some Dornian Thorn Archers here. They need to retreat. They've got plenty of ammo left. Look at these guys. They look awesome. I think for a low tier unit, they look quite cool. But yeah, they still have ammo. They need to get back. Um, they could do with getting like these Loki Rim into place. And here they go. They're going to try and uh, turn around these Vinland Watchmen. They're going to get cut down. And there they go, they break. And they fall back and now go back the Darwinian Thorn Archers as well. They've got a fair amount of archers left. These are Vyru Marksmen have a decent amount of ammo. They can also fight pretty well in combat. I'm pretty sure they've got like a... A dual wielding sword or something like that, or like dual wielding swords. I can't be, I can't remember exactly. They are quite good in combat. They'll do fine anyway. They still got ammo to uh, expend. We still got shock infantry. Got more pole, uh, yeah, pole arms coming up. Oh, they're actually a pole arm unit, not a pike unit. I always thought they were a pike. Maybe they got demoted at some point. You can see they're trying to sneak around here with the Loki rim, trying to get around and uh, attack this. Uh, Wall of Arunia in the flank, you can see the Gondor infantry is like half going into one, half in the other. But while that's been going on, I think uh, we've been trying to set up archers over here. I've been trying to get my archers in place to try and burn this uh, artillery piece so we can start our assault on this side. And uh, yeah, to no real avail at this point. Look how close these Athala Rangers get. If they had actually, I don't know, I don't know if Jackie was paying attention, but if you'd been able to get these guys, it's what, like you could have got these guys through the breach. And I was desperately, desperately uh, trying to get these guys in place. And there you go, just like that. Jackie could have got this uh, cavalry inside it, because it caused a bit of havoc with his cavalry. Um, but we've got the uh, spears in place and ready to defend. I think he was trying to take out my artillery piece with uh, his archers, but uh, didn't lose any men or artillery. And yeah, you can see these archers are really struggling. I'm trying to desperately, I think I'm firing at the clan guards at the moment. Which is uh, just a waste of ammo because these guys got big shields and uh, they're also quite a way away. The enemy is going for our general. Protect him. All bloody dirt. Look at that. Look how many arrows these guys have taken. fight going on here. The Gondor infantry not winning. I mean, they are fighting shock infantry. And uh, there's a lot of shock infantry in here. They need to get archers up to the attackers. Uh, you can see that all these elven archers back here. The elven army is basically still fully intact. It's, uh, it's not lost many men, put it like that. They've got uh, hall gardens they can send up. We've got Lord's Last Garland here that could go up. These guys need to go up and start firing on the uh, all these like, Belfast marines and uh, Belfast fleet warriors and stuff. Get some damage. And you can see, look at this. All these uh, Varag warriors coming up. These guys are beaten up. But they're going to go in. They need to. Hold back these Belfast Fleet Warriors. It's a good unit. It's one of the newer units for Dol Amroth. A lower tier shock infantry unit. Costs a lot less, but they're, they're still pretty good. Certainly when they're intermingled in units like this, they'll do fine. 
And certainly when they're fighting weaker units, uh, like either like low key remnants are taking casualties already, or uh, or just uh, like fighting great, like just generally like weaker units, like I don't know, Ringo Vale or something like that. They do a lot. They do a lot better. Look at the pikes. They're flanking on here, doing a nice little flank. They need to counter this. They need to focus this unit down. Look at this. They're now getting focused down with archers. Uh, these are all the uh, what's this? Lords of Last Garland here. They're gonna pierce through this. Uh, they've got very little armor. And they will do just fine. Look, yeah, these pikes here. They're gonna have a bit of joy to start with. But they're not for long. They are. You can see, look at all the arrows like impaled in these guys. And uh, they are not having a, not having a good time. The Vari marksmen now in there. They've broken that flank though for uh, the attackers. They can now spill out and try and do some damage, but they are getting focused down at every point. These whole guardians to get sent in. Here they go. They'll change the tide of battle on this left flank, bringing it back to in favor of the attackers, you imagine, or certainly balance it up a bit. Elves versus elves. If I'm right, I'm pretty sure I'm right. If someone can let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure Vari are an elven, uh, like, they are, they are elves in the service of Darwinian. See a lot of troops breaking here, though. Lots of, uh, Varied Warriors now breaking. 51 men breaking. I mean, that's actually not bad. They're not the greatest. They're the lowest unit. Look at this, though. We've got Jackie's uh, general here. 28 men. Dawning protectors. And it's still holding. Still holding the line. I mean, there are some uh, Loki amazement in here. But they are... Uh, <laughs> looks a bit of desperation. Like, look at that sword that they have. That is like a... If we can get a closer up on that. It's like a club. It's like a double-edged scimitar, basically. Best way to describe it, I'd say. But yeah, Loki Rim versus Loki Rim on this side. Very confusing. At this point, we're uh, getting ready to make our assault on this side. I think I'm dedicating most of my, uh, res my reserves to that side. It looks like the elves and uh, what remains of these things will assault this way. And there goes Jackie's general. He's breaking. And uh, that is not a good sign. He will not make it out of there. He's actually retreating toward that way. He's not even going the right way. What a strange man. And there you go, I think he just died there, retreating in the wrong direction. And we've got some more Hall Guardians coming up, another 92 of them. They will help. I mean, these guys are getting focused down, like, look at this uh, entrench, or like, emplacement up here. There's just hundreds of archers here. We've got Tarnosi Marksman, Loki Rim uh, archers, more Tarnosians, Loki Rim. Yeah, a bunch of, uh, like, archers. And they're just gonna gun down everything. I'm surprised they didn't get up, like, the Avari Marksman and everything else that was left on here. Get these guys up here. We started to uh, fire on these uh, archers, trying to just damage them a little bit. But yeah, they're getting a lot of kills. They're certainly keeping this uh, this choke point alive for the uh, for the defenders. Got Lords Lasgard now taking the fight to the uh, clan guards. These uh, uh, Lords Lasgard are actually quite good in combat. This kind of comes with the price that you pay for them. Uh, they are actually quite good in combat. Obviously, don't like getting charged by anything like cavalry or shock infantry, but they'll do okay if they do the charging. Or if they're supported by, supported by another infantry unit. Like, here we go. Here's an infantry unit appearing to support it. Got some Gondor infantry going in. Gondor versus the Eastlings. That happens after uh, the fall of Mordor. Aragorn apparently leads a, uh, a force of Gondor. I don't know exactly what. I presume it's Gondorian... Uh, forces and probably like Darwinian to retake Darwinian uh, from the Eastlings. Uh, that's after the uh, destruction of Sauron. So that's quite interesting. That, there is stuff that is going on after uh, like Sauron's dead. There is still some sort of action going on. And cavalry getting charging in. That's going into the back of their own troops. That's not going to help with holding that line. You can see shock infantry now in here. And uh, just perfectly timed getting in there. And now it's uh, going to run through. It's going to get chopped up quite a bit. This Tarnosian. Uh, oh, it's not. It's Knights of Imrahil. They did have the Tarnosians in there as well. The Knights of Imrahil. This needs focusing down. I was ordering, like, this uh, Varig Bowman unit just, like, go in. Focus these guys down. Also, the uh, Elven King is getting mobilized now. The General. He's the most elite carry unit probably in the game. But here he is. He's going to go forward now. And, uh, yeah, this Knights of Imrahil is uh, getting chased down by spears. It's actually going to do a hammer and anvil into the back of the uh, Wards of Rune and the uh, Gondor infantry. 
Not a bad idea. Try and support this uh, flank, this flank here. It's an okay charge. It wasn't the greatest, but it was okay. It wasn't quite united, but it's certainly going to help. But there are spears coming now. The Cellular Guard coming up. They're going to do their bit along with the Elven King. They're going to charge in the Cellular Guard. They'll probably get an okay charge on them. Yeah, the Cellular Guard moving up along with the, uh, the Cavalry. Certainly helped the Cavalry get a better charge. Should have formed Shield Wall. Or, or Square, one or the other. But there you go. It's already been dealt with already. And this flank is now open. You can see that the left flank has fallen for the defenders. And uh, it, is, it is kind of over. It's this choke point. And it's, the battle is almost over as well. The elves have broken through. And they're cutting down the Bari marksmen now. It's a thin line holding back the rest as well. So actually there's a lot of... Uh, nice Imre Hill here. This is a fresh unit. It's a general as well, I'm pretty sure, for, uh, for Dol Amroth. Yeah. They're actually going to beat these uh, Hall Guardians. These Hall Guardians are losing 34 men as well. And this is the general for the Eastlings are in as well, Warlords of Room. Gonna might, might need to send a bit more in there if they want to win that fight. Oh, look at this poor unit of Hall Guardians. It's getting focused down. It's probably got loads of kills. And it's not just getting focused down for its uh, its mistakes. Poor, poor unit. But there you go. Yeah, this is kind of like getting wrapped up the uh, Vary Marksman. Breaking there, and now they can surround uh, the two generals. Elves are surrounding the runic troops. Oh god, there's artillery coming in. I think that's uh, the artillery still on the hill. They still do have an artillery piece here. We are shooting it at any possible, like any possible chance with the uh, archers and uh, fire arrows, just to try and get some more kills, or just to break it or burn the artillery, one or the other. That's all we wanted to do, just get it off the battlefield. Spears coming forward now. Oh no, they got uh, more Hall Guardians, apologies. Uh, they got Las Garland Blades as well. Look at this, it's a uh, uh, Onager crew. It was breaking, uh, but it, it broke and ran down the hill and then it rallied, so it looked like it just ran down the hill. It was quite funny, so yeah, they're just getting like cut down now by these Las Garland Blades. Brave men going in to fight that, but you can see that you can sort of go up the hill, but not like fully, and these uh, Hall Guardians are going to go into combat. going to face down these Loki and Bowmen. And the whole Guardians will probably get an easy victory here. So much so that the Loki room uh, archers aren't even like interested. They're just going to go on by. Don't even care. You've got uh, the clan guards over here. They're starting to lose this fight though. They can't deal with the overwhelming numbers. Now the uh, Citadel Guard are in here as well. They're doing their bit. Let's turn it around so it looks a bit... It still looks nicer. Yes, these guys, like I said, are like Pavi, so don't get masses of kills. They're better when supported with archers, uh, because the archers will either get the kills or they'll weaken them enough that it allows the clan guards to get a lot of kills. But these guys are just really good at holding choke points, and they're wavering now. Uh, they're getting shot on the back uh, by all these archers here. Well, certainly my archers, anyway. My Gondorian archers, I uh, dedicate to shoot these guys in the back. You can see uh, they're doing a bit of good. They're doing some good work there. We now have a uh, cavalry in. This is the Elven King. He's about to get a good charge. Onto the clan guards down here. The clan guards are going to turn around. They're going to try and face it, but they're not going to be in time. And there you go. The Elven King runs down that unit. Look at that. Thorandal is filled with arrows. Um, but yeah, the Elven King just destroys that entire unit, basically. There you go. Broken. It can now go into the archers. Run these guys down. Just needs to keep running through. Break all these men, really. And that's going to be the battle, really. These guys can take a lot of arrows if they need to. We can flank around now with our swords and shock. Still getting some really good hits with the artillery, actually. To be fair, getting some good kills on these archers. And the, the general is still holding over here. Knights of Imrahil still holding. I'd just like to credit this, like, Dol Amroth like player, and also like his general. He's done so well holding in this tiny little point on his own. 
alone, surrounded, nowhere to go. But they fight on. Brave Knight of uh, Imra Hill and Dol Amor. Yeah, there you go. That's going to be the battle, really. Uh, the Elven King, when he got in behind and started rallying all these uh, artisan spears, quickened what was already a uh, a defeat, really, for the defenders. They did very well. I think they, uh, like, they were kind of a little bit outmatched, I think, in some areas. I think, like, Elves, obviously, are really strong. Um, uh, Jackie, I feel, kind of, kind of got left here on his own, like, fighting. And uh, Dol Amroth was here a bit, but certainly, like, uh, these things didn't really have a massive army. They went really heavy with their cav, and it didn't pay off, unfortunately. So they couldn't really defend against the Eastlings on their flank. So it kind of left the flank open to attack Jackie. And that was uh, the beginning of the end, really. But there we go. We'll end the replay and have a look at the uh, the end results. So, um, yeah, as I mentioned, I was playing as Gondor. So we'll have a quick look at my results uh, first. Um, I got 109 kills with my Ringlow Veil Minute Arms, which is pretty solid. They're not a great unit. They cost like 700 gold. So they're not, like, amazing. We've got my uh, Gondor Swords here getting 117. My... Uh, my uh, Silver Guard, which I spent so much money on, actually never really got to really like take part in the battle. They didn't get many kills. My uh, Gondor Archers did okay, getting 103. Not doing amazing, but my Cavalry uh, did okay as well, getting 135. But definitely should be getting more for that kills. I did had a pretty average game, I'd say. Nothing amazing. It certainly uh, supported quite well with the Eastlings and with uh, with the Woodland Realm. But yeah, Mythic Key, who was playing as the Eastlings, got some really good kills with his infantry, 240 kills. His... Um, Varyag Warrior is here getting 150 kills, which is pretty good. His uh, Warlords of Ruin getting 170 kills. Um, so they did really well. Um, they could definitely get like upwards as well if they had the chance. They can get into two, 300 kills. His Cavalry getting 198 kills, which is really good. This one not doing so well, but this one did quite well. Getting quite a lot of kills. So yeah, that one did okay running around before they all got caught and killed. Then we've got Cupper Dance here, who was playing as the Wooden Realm. 198 kills as Elm King, and it only appeared at the very end. It's like just did some devastating uh, charges. His swords are quite well, getting 132 kills. His uh, look at this, his Hall Guardians, 326 kills, really, really nice. They did very well. So well done to him. Always like to see the Hall Guardians do well. And then we've got the uh, his archers, his uh, Lasgal and archers did slightly better than his Lords of Lasgal, and getting 137. So yeah, they are the attackers. So well done to all my teammates, and we. Just about what well, we didn't just about. We uh, we did very well in getting a, a good victory there. It was apparently a Pyrrhic victory. Um, but yeah, there you go. So then we'll have a look at uh, Jackie's army, who was playing as a uh, Darwinian. Got 153 kills with uh, those Darwinian protectors. Did quite well. But they'll get uh, charged and focused down a little bit by archers. It's the risk you have when bringing in a shock infantry general. Um, his uh, his swords, his shipment, I thought they did quite well. They held the line for a long time, but they didn't get many kills. Only getting 51 kills. Um, his uh, Vin... Vine, uh, um, Farmer Militia getting 24 kills. Uh, yeah, they're not a very good shock infantry unit, but they uh, they were just there for numbers, I think. And then you got 102 kills with this other Dawning Protector unit. Uh, Dawning Protectors, I think, are okay, but I think he just was just prone to they got sh charged a lot by a cavalry, so they just took a lot of early casualties. Um, his uh, Watchman did okay, getting uh, 64 kills. Uh, they just kind of, again, slowed down the assaults in some areas um, by just forming obstacles and just for us, uh, making it harder for the attackers to uh, find a way through. And then we have the Avari Marksman here, his best units by far, um, getting 147, 140, did really well. And uh, they seem to be causing a lot of issues all the time. These guys are just always a, a threat, and I always wanted to try and shoot these guys down. But they did quite well, and yeah, unfortunately, his uh, Thala mounted range, only getting two kills, didn't really uh, have much to do in the battle. They kind of, as soon as we got inside the city, we kind of just closed them off from coming back inside. So uh, that was a shame. He could have brought them back inside himself. Um, here the gate's still available, but... I guess he wanted to try and uh, possibly snipe an artillery piece or something. Then we've got Boris, who's playing as Eastlings. Really heavily invested in his cavalry, uh, his uh, Bane of Steps here, and only got um, like 10 kills between the two units, which is just awful. Uh, I feel really bad for him, but uh, we did trap it really effectively and easily, and it just took out the game very early on. Did really well. His uh, general getting 133 kills, it did quite well. His Loku and Maceman, 137. His other wards of Rune here getting 191 kills. His Loku and March is getting 159 kills, 156. It did quite well. And his uh, clan guards only getting 90 kills, which is actually not bad for them. Um, they did okay then. And then we've got the real Alex Albon, or uh, also known as Heads, um, who uh, was playing as Dol Amroth, and his. Uh, uh, Knights of Imra Hill here is generally getting 86 kills. Not bad, but definitely expect them to do better. But they were kind of just surrounded and uh, kind of doomed to die. So they did okay for like what situation they're in. Knights of Imra Hill here getting 94 kills. I mean, they killed a lot of cavalry, so that's actually not really high as that cavalry, like that, that kill count. But I mean, that's they killed a lot of expensive stuff, like lots of bane steps. Um, so they did quite well there. 
and they got some charges off at the end at the uh, at the Citadel Guard. So again, a very expensive thing to kill or try and kill. And we've got Sea Ward Infantry here, only getting 76 kills. Pretty average for them. I mean, possibly below average. These guys definitely you usually want them to get around like 100, the 100 mark. Uh, his Belfast Fleet Warriors did get to the 100 mark. They did okay. They uh, usually get focused on quite easily. These guys don't have great armor, so 105 did quite well. His Haven Guard did really well, though, 235. Another unit that can get into the 300s if it wants to. Uh, on a good day but yeah that did quite well his uh, spears only getting 74 kills again just there to hold the line and his tarnation uh, marksman did okay getting 109 kills and his uh tarnation lances did uh not get that many kills at 19 but anyway thank you to all for uh playing in this battle thank you to jackie for coming along much appreciated as always i hope you guys enjoyed watching this rise of mordor siege battle it certainly was an excellent one if you want to see more lord of the rings action or just more rise of mordor then do remember to leave a like subscribe and a comment to show your support always appreciated as we work towards 2500 subs and until next time legionnaires bye for now